Hi guys, in this video I'm going to cut some tree logs and see what I can come up with. For this I've got the perfect zombie slayer tool in the entire world. The chainsaw. In case you forgot them, this can actually cut tree logs. Lots of cool stuff coming up guys. Keep watching. Welcome back guys, my name is Josh and this is my DIY channel video FO. I don't like long intros but this is important so please hang on with me a bit. I'm not experienced or professionally qualified to handle any of the power tools that I use in my videos. In fact, this is the first time ever I'm going to use a chainsaw. I don't own it, it's on rent and thus does not have an instruction manual. The owner gave me a set of instructions and I refer to a lot of tutorial videos before trying this out. Safety is a must. Dust production mask, ear production, eye production is absolutely necessary. For head production, I'm going to use my riding helmet. I know it sounds funny, but something is better than nothing. The next important thing is, I'm not going to chop down a tree just because I have some crazy ideas and I'm going to make a video on it. The logs that you see in the video are harvested from trees that were victims of a cyclone. The cyclone swept about 50% of city's greenery and the trees in the backyard fell. Some made it and some didn't. The ones that didn't make it will make way to my workshop. Let me gear up and get started. Making sure the wood log doesn't fall on me after being cut and carefully choosing my positions, I cut the tree log from the main tree. The camera angles are not so clear because I was focusing on the tree logs and also needed to make sure that the falling log does not knock my camera out. It might seem simple but it did take quite a bit of effort in cutting down these logs into the size that I could carry. A black t-shirt on a hot summer afternoon proved to be foolish. I changed and I got back to work again. The logs were moved where I could continue working comfortably. To cut these into further smaller pieces, the logs were placed on heavy rocks so that they would not move while it's being cut. With the basic plans made for this video, the logs were cut to the desired size. I was aiming at 6 projects for this video and needed to get all the logs ready before sunset and return the chainsaw. The next day, these logs were brought into the workshop and all possible tools with me were fetched. I'm going for an unfinished natural look so these tools could do the job. First thing was to sand the top of the logs to get rid of the sawtooth marks. Flat disc on an angle grinder to choose these up easily. Again, safety gears are important here as wood chips fly everywhere. Once done, sanding with the sandpaper helps get a better finish. The first project is a color pencil stand. Using my kid's mechanics toy, the log was marked where the holes needed to be drilled. I thought of lining them up and securing them with the tape, but I figured out it might get caught in the drill and fling on my face. Punch holes were made for the drill bit to catch, mix it a lot easier later. Drill bit was chosen to the corresponding size of a pencil, approximately 10mm. Using the drill press stand, holes were made. Once done, the pencils were inserted and it looks so cool. To make the color of the log darker, it was oiled using a rag and let to dry overnight. Then a few coats of wood polish were added to preserve the wood. With this, we complete our first project. The next project is very simple, heat pad for the dining table. Thin strips of logs were sanded. By oiling and finishing with wood polish, we are almost done. Adding a bit of decorative touch helps. The heat pads are done but these could be used for so many things. Imagination is the key. For this third project, the core of the log will be hollowed and made into a wood log planter or a flower vase. The inspiration for this video comes from Steve Ramsey's video. In fact, it will be the first video to pop up if you want to see something to be made from tree logs. Thank you Steve. The center was marked for the part to be scooped out. This log is large, so it wouldn't fit in my drill stand. So using a spade bit, it was drilled manually. The plan was to make multiple holes and then chisel the center part. After an hour of struggle, there was not much progress. Therefore, I headed out to the hardware store to get a Fosner bit and the maximum size available in the shop was 25mm. Even this did not help and I went back to chiseling it and it took about 4 hours to hollow it out. Using a homemade spindle inspired by Jack Howling's video, the edges were sanded smooth. A flap disc was mounted on the drill press to access to the bottom. After finishing the lock with the oiling and polishing, it was time to plant something in there. Let me try a few things here. Placing a bunch of artificial flowers and filling it up with decorative stones makes it a nice tabletop vase. You could try different options here. I designed this to grow lucky bamboo. Although it can hold water, for easy access and cleaning, a pet bottle was cut and placed inside. Then placing the lucky bamboo inside adds to that feng shui touch. This can be made into a planter, but drainage hole must be drilled in the bottom. But this log particularly comes from neem tree which could shunt the growth of a main plant. It's a bit of a concern. The fourth project is a treasure chest. The center log was scooped out as previously shown. When the logs were cut initially, a specific portion was chosen for the lid and the base. 
After oiling and wood polish, the lid was nailed with a base for sliding action, for opening and closing. There are magnets embedded inside the wood to hold the lid in place, but are not strong enough. Now this project could be a nice thing to store my coin collection and old currencies. But this will be better cherished by my wife. For the fifth project, a log was hollowed out too. But this time it's going to stand up vertical, housing a glass container and in this case it's going to be a light bulb. See my video on light bulb terrarium on how to hollow the light bulb. Just to emphasize, clear the broken glass pieces immediately. There is a hole on top of the setup to pour water and the light bulb is secured with hot glue. Just for the sake of demonstration, I'm keeping a single bamboo plant in there. Feng Shui recommends specific number of stocks for specific kinds of energy. For the sixth and final project, a simple log was cut and coated with wood polish. Two holes were made and these would house two candles. You might have guessed it, it's going to be a candle stand. Just so the wood doesn't catch up on fire, two washers were placed in the bottom. A piece of aluminum foil was cut rolled and inserted into those slots and now we are done tiny holes were drilled and artificial leaves were glued to complete the project so there you have it guys six projects from three logs and many more yet to come i try a lot of different things so i'll come back to this project a little bit later if you made it this far it means you like my video and if you really do please do share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel video epo making youtube videos is not my primary profession and i do this for a passion i would request you to please help me sustain my passion so please subscribe to my channel video epo i'll be back with another interesting and entertaining video next week until then bye